What's going on everybody? Hope y'all having a great day. Today we're going to show you guys how we store our corn and we're also going to show you how we make cream corn the old fashioned way. That's right, we're going to do both of those at the same time. Alright y'all, let's get started. Okay, so here in our pail we have some Honey Select Triple Sweet Corn. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to shuck these uh, cobs here and we're going to go ahead and break them off the remaining stalk and then we'll show you what our next step is. Now you can use this storage method we show you here in this video for any type of sweet corn. However, for the recipe, you only want to stick with the yellow varieties. Okay, so now that we got our um, cobs off the remaining stalk, we're going to go ahead and use our favorite brush. You can use any brush you want, as long as it does a good job. And we're going to brush those silks off. Then we're going to lay them over here, let them dry, and as you can see, some of the silks will show themselves and you can pull the remainders off, but we don't have a whole lot here, maybe two or three, so we ain't going to worry with it. Okay, so now that we got our corn uh, cleaned, brushed, and all that, uh, we have our outdoor cannon. Let's see if you guys over. Uh, we have our outdoor cannon kit out here. What we have is boiling water. And we got these things set for around six minutes. Now, the most important key, in my opinion, is when you're doing this with your corn, you always want to make sure your water's already boiling before you put your corn in. Um, if you put your corn in and let it warm up with the water, your cooking time's going to be way different, and then your corn's going to be mushy. Uh, it's best just to wait and get it exactly six minutes. Um, so let your water boil completely first and make sure it's a rapid boil. Okay, so our corn is finished. Now we're going to remove it from the pot and we are going to go ahead and get right into it. We do not want to let them cool. Okay, so our corn's finished. What we're going to do is we're going to drain it down and uh, we're going to take the cobs and put them out on a nice clean towel on the counter and we're going to start cutting our corn. All right, so this next step is pretty easy. You can use a big knife, you can use a small paring knife, whatever it takes to get those kernels off, but you don't want to cut into the cob. But you can use uh, even one of those old fancy electric carving knives that you see here. Now with this method, you gotta be really, really careful because if you're not careful, you're gonna cut into the cob, what we call gapping it. And uh, you don't want that rough stuff inside of your cream corn. It'll be pretty nasty tasting. Okay, here's the next step. Also, the most important, every cob that you finish cutting or trimming the kernels off, you want to take like a butter knife, here I'm using a spoon, and you want to scrape the cob on both ends, and you want to keep raking it pretty aggressively, and you eventually start seeing uh, the white substance come out, and this is what we call milking the cob. Then you just take your kernels, and you uh, dump them over in the bowl until you get enough where you want to freeze, that's all we're going to do here. We're just going to go ahead and scoop them out and put them in our uh, freezer safe bags. Now we're using a food saver, but you can use any bag you want as long as it's rated for freezing. You can even use a straw to get the air out of some of your other bags if you don't have a food saver, but that's what we use here. Uh, now the trick with this is you'll see a lot of white substance in the corn. As a matter of fact, you'll see so much moisture in this corn you'll be able to see the uh, food saver draw it up and we stop it just before it goes inside the bag. Now that's it, that's all there is to it. Just toss these bags in the freezer and when you want to uh, eat it, all you have to do is heat it up like you do a normal can of corn. You don't have to add any milk or anything to it and it is absolutely amazing. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you again on the next one. Remember, keep on keeping on.